Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm Angela. Happy Tuesday, guys. Happy actual Tuesday. Yesterday I said happy Tuesday and it was Monday. My bad. It was one of those days. My bad. So actually, happy Tuesday today. I'll get it right today. Or oh, whatever day it is where you are, I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day today. I wanted to come to you very quickly and give you a word that God has been placing on my heart. It's a very exciting word um, that, you know, I'm eager to deliver. As always, remember that we are in different seasons, so not every word is for every person. You know what, you know, you know what you and God has have talked about, so you know if this is confirmation for you. On this channel, I encourage you always to have your own relationship with God. What's more important than the, than the prophetic word is your relationship with God, an intimate relationship with God so that you can hear from God yourself and you will know what he's speaking so words can be confirmation. If it's your season or if it's your word, then it will be confirmation for you. But the most important thing I encourage and God desires is for you to have your own relationship with him, okay? So I want I want to always stress that and I always stress that on the channel. But guys, uh, you know, just take it back to God in prayer. But God is about to do some great and amazing things. God is stating that what he has promised and uh, the harvest, the, the seeds that you sown and the harvest that you're reaping from that, from those seeds that you've sown, it's coming faster than you think. God is saying it's going to happen at lightning speed, but it's going to also happen one, one after another for you. God is saying that those tears that you wept, the things that you've been through, the pain, the hurt, you know, the, the, um, just just all the things that you have had to endure uh even the the backstabbing whatever it is that you endured in your wilderness god is saying that is coming to an end no more weeping it's time to rejoice this is the this is the season to rejoice those those tears that you know you you've sown those that 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 pain that heartache that disappointment God is saying he's turning that thing around. This is your season. This is your season for breakthrough. That marriage that you're waiting for, that opportunity, that, you know, uh, job opportunity, ministry, whatever it is that God promised you. God is saying that those promises are still coming to pass. They're still coming to pass and to get ready, but not just get ready. Understand that it's closer. It's closer than you think. And it's happening. It's going to happen really, really fast. So make sure that you're in position and make sure that you're in position, but also make sure that you're remaining faithful to God. Make sure you're in posi in the right pos in position and also remaining faithful and obedient to God. Okay. As always. But God was stating that those things that you you have been through are coming to an end. He's about to bless you in a way that you've never been blessed before. This is a season that God is doing supernatural things. And he spoke so much about uh, to me about supernatural miracles, supernatural healing, supernatural things that he's about to do in your life. Uh, maybe where you couldn't have kids or you thought you'll never get married or you thought you'll never have entrepreneurship or a home. God is saying he's about to blow your mind like you've never seen before. Oh my gosh, God is about to do some amazing things. He is about to do some amazing things and I can actually feel it in my life and I can I can just feel it in the atmosphere, things shifting and God is about to do some amazing, amazing things. Those seeds that you sown, God is saying that those seeds that you sown, you are about to receive that harvest and it is about to come in a way and in a different direction that you think. So don't try to expect the unexpected because God say, don't try to figure out what he's doing. Just let him, let, let him be God and surrender it all to him. 
but allow him to be God and expect the unexpected. It's not going to come the way that you want it. It may not look the way that you want it, but it's going to be better. It's going to be better. So get ready for whatever God has um uh, God has promised you whatever you have been praying for. God is about to do that thing, but he's about to do it quickly. And it's closer than you think. It is actually closer than you think. And God was also speaking about, um, he was speaking about, and I'm just looking down at my notes. He was speaking about also, don't get discouraged by what you see in the physical. Don't get discouraged about that. God is still working behind the scenes. He's still working spiritually in the spirit, spiritual realm. God, you may not see it, but don't let that, you know, de deter you or, or, or discourage you. You know, don't allow that to discourage you. God is still working behind the scenes. Just because you can't see it, don't let that, you know, don't forget what God said, though. The promises still remain. Just because you can't see it, it's still happening. So just know he spoke about that too, that a lot, uh, that some of you are getting discouraged because you can't see nothing happening. It just looks like it's just not going to happen. It, it, it won't happen. And, um, you're doubting, you're beginning to doubt and give up hope. And God is saying, no, continue to go, continue to, to keep moving in expectancy, continue to keep moving in faith and believing that he's going to do what he says he's going to do, but it's going to take you to believe it. God wants to see your, the, the, that you have belief. God wants to see faith. That's what makes God, that pleases God the most. You can't please God without faith. You, it's impossible to please God without faith. And those are his words. So guys, stand in expectancy, stand in, it is closer than you think. Hold on, those things that you, you know, and don't allow the enemy to make you think you're still in a season that you're not. You're in a season, if this is your season and God has told you that these things, again, we're all in different seasons, but if this is your season, this is go time because God is about to do it. Those tears, God say, dry it up. <laughs> no more weeping, but rejoice rejoice you have the victory you won the battle everything that has came up against you every person that has came up against you you won that bat battle and you are in victory every seed that has been sown that are good seeds because i have a word coming later <laughs> that for people and for god's judgment so you know if you sown good seeds or you know if you sow sown bad seeds but um for this particular word, continue to believe that your harvest is coming for the seeds that you've sown. You've sown your tears and pain and hurt, but you remain faithful to God. You've sown, you know, in tears, but you remain obedient to God. So know that you are about to receive your breakthrough. It's closer. It's closer. It's closer. I'm telling you guys, I can feel it. It's closer. And it is not just what I feel, but what God is continuing to speak to me to encourage you. Um, so guys, that God also gave me Deuteronomy 28, 12, and I'll read that. And I'm reading from, um, sorry, my arm is itching the NLT version. Um, it says the Lord will send rain at the proper time from his rich treasury in the heavens and will bless all the work you do. You will lend to many nations, but you will never need to borrow from them. If you listen to these commands of the Lord, your God, that I am giving you today, and you carefully obey them, the Lord will make you the head and not the tail, and you will always be on top and never at the bottom. Guys, God is about to do it. Things are shifting. Things are changing. God is about to pour down abundance, but he's also about to pour down his spirit. So whatever it is that God is promising, whatever this season that God has for you is coming, is close. But remember to remain in expectancy and belief and have faith that God is going to do what he says he's going to do in spite of you not seeing it. 
just because you don't see it in the physical it's still going to happen okay it's still going to happen so continue to always stand you know just continue to remain faithful in god and um, remain at his feet and in his presence and allow him to keep speaking to you all right but get excited guys i know i'm excited <laughs> get excited god is about to do he's about to do some amazing things and he's about to do it you know in in a quick in a quick manner he's about to do it quickly he's about to do it in lightning speed he's about to do it guys so get ready get ready no more weeping no more down don't let the enemy think you're in a season that god has removed you from get ready to rejoice and to walk into your promised land okay so that is the word today guys i am happy i am excited and i just been feeling this overwhelming um just this overwhelming joy you know all day i just been feeling this overwhelming joy upon me all day you know as i drive i just been talking to god and he's just been filling me with so much of his presence and so much of his love and 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 his goodness and it's been so you know overwhelming and it continues god always continues to keep me in awe I'm always in awe of God. You know, uh, he just always blows my mind and keeps me in awe. Just being who he is, how great he is, how mighty he is, but how much he loves us. How much he adores us in spite of us, in spite of our mess. You know, God still loves us so, so, so much. And it's just this overwhelming feeling that I have felt all day today. And it has been, it is, it's, it's just, it's, it's overtaking me because I can feel his love so strong. So guys, that is the word today. I'm excited for you guys. I just want to hear all the testimonies and all the love, um, you know that god is pouring on you and like i said he's pouring his blessings but he's also pouring his spirit upon his people in this time okay so guys as i always tell you keep shining keep being the light that you are keep loving one another keep being kind and do not allow this hard world this this horrible world <laughs> evil world to harden your hearts okay continue to love each other and be kind all right and god willing i'll talk to you guys um next time and i'll probably give another word uh, that god has given me um on thursday or friday all right i'll talk to you later take care bye-bye